Hi, this is just one of the things I do when I start an investigation. Oh, you don't know who I am? I'm Vani from foodbabe.com. I'm about to call the Lean Cuisine headquarters, parent company Nestle, and ask them about their new product called Honestly Good, 100% all natural. I'm gonna try to find out what exactly is natural about their Honestly Good product. Introducing new Lean Cuisine Honestly Good. Whole chicken breast and fish fillets. Whole grains. A whole new reason to open your freezer. Our new collection of Lean Cuisine Honestly Good meals features six different varieties full of 100% all-natural wholesome ingredients with sauce you can add yourself. New Lean Cuisine Honestly Good found in the natural frozen meal section of your local grocer. Ooh, there's a natural frozen meal section. Your call is important to us and may be monitored or recorded. Thank you for calling Lean Cuisine. My name is How can I help you? Hi, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm great. Um, I had a question regarding your new Honestly Good product that says 100% all natural on the label. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to know if there are any genetically engineered ingredients in any of those products. You mean like um, GMOs? Yes. Okay. That is a very good question, and I'd be more than happy uh, to look into that for you. Thank you so much. Um, Well, I, I, do, I did find the answer about the GMOs, and I am seeing that when possible, we do source our ingredients domestically. Uh, that includes corn, soybeans, canola, and, and sugar beets, the most common ingredient sources used in food production. The ingredients are also predominantly um, genetically modified crops in the United States. Um, other common GM crops are like cotton, papaya, and squash. It's estimated that about 70 to 80 percent of the foods we eat in the U.S., both at home and away from home, contain ingredients made from gen genetically, I apologize, um, modified crops. Um, there's also a website here that you, you can check into um, if you'd like for more information about that. What, um, what is that website? It would be facts about gmos.org. Oh, did you know that that's actually industry funded by Monsanto? Um, no, I did not. Yeah, so I don't think it's a really fair website to give. Just, you know, for your information, you might want to take that back to your people who put together this information that you were reading to me. Um, so what you're saying is that there are genetically engineered ingredients in the honestly good 100% all natural lean cuisine product. Is that correct? This, this is typically not just about the honestly good, but about all of our, whether it's just, you know, the, the standard lean cuisine or the it's honestly good, that about 70 to 80 percent of them, you know, of the meals in general, not just lean cuisine, but um, I apologize, the foods that we do eat contain those, um, but we, we currently do not have any kind of list that details which products do or do not contain GMOs. Um, but if the product does contain sugar, corn, soy, or canola, then it more than likely has ingredients from genetically modified crops given their uh, prevalence in the United States. Got it. So if your product has sugar, soybean, canola, or corn, it could have genetically engineered ingredients, and there's probably an 80% chance, correct? 70 to 80. 70 to 80% chance. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering... How can you label a product all natural 100% if it has genetically engineered ingredients that are made in a laboratory where scientists are injecting DNA of other species and bacteria and other things into those cells? I'm just not quite sure and I just I want to understand as a consumer and I want to be able to tell my friends how can you label a product 100% all natural? I mean, like I said, we don't have any specific listing which, which they do or do not contain, so it's possible that they may not have any crops or, or ingredients which have GMOs in them. I, I mean, but like, 
when they're labeled all natural that, that has different standards than like organic, which I believe the organic would fall more into things that are, don't have GMOs in them. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you answering my questions. I look forward to um, uh, telling all my friends about this. Well, I do want to thank you for calling Lean Cuisine. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So there you have it, guys. 100% all-natural food does not equal GMO-free. Beware of GMOs lurking in food labeled natural, even 100% all-natural. If it contains any GMO crops like corn, soy, canola, or sugar beets, it likely has genetically engineered material that's made in a laboratory with its DNA altered, stuff that's not found in nature. Remember, GMOs kill bees. GMOs are linked to cancer, allergies, and autoimmune disorders in animal studies. GMOs destroy the environment with increased toxic chemicals, and GMOs hurt farmers. For more information, please go to foodbabe.com and sign up for free investigations. Until then, I'm the Food Babe.